Coach, team got the W. Uh, yeah, it was good to get a win. Uh, same time, uh, Jeremy, we, we still got a lot to, to be better at. We didn't um, miss tackles. Offense execution wasn't very good. We had a turnover, poor mistake, one of 13 third downs. Uh, made a play in a kicking game, took care of the ball, got some turnovers, had a couple stops. Defense played well, had some sacks, but uh, every phase we can be so much better, and we're pushing hard this week to, to emphasize that, show them the positives, realize we won. That's good to get. Get one on the road. That's good for us. But keep seeing that we're a long way off. We got to keep pushing to get better. You've been coaching for a long time at a lot of different places. Ever seen anyone quite like Greg Heeman get so much out of his ability? Well, that's you know what you're pushing for. And my comment to him today: we, were, you know, he was our special team player of the game. Uh, hit on the kickoff team. Had a, had a really good uh, uh, play there, recovering you know great uh, release on a punt, recovering a fumble uh, that led to points for us. He. Um, uh, had a winning performance defensively. So almost every week he's getting recognized in the kicking on the defensive side. He's been a player of the game in both areas. And um, But the comment was, I don't know if we're getting as much time as, as our comment was, we expect you to do better down the stretch. Same deal with Adam Rapolo, who played a tremendous game. Those guys are setting a good tone of how to practice, how to prepare. They're playing well. And we're going to ask them to keep pushing hard down the stretch and keep setting a good standard for us. Thoughts on Nate Sudfeld and how he managed the game in a tough situation? Okay, we didn't block very well, and a couple of times I think he got a little, little um, hyper rattled. And um, same time, I don't think Cam has played that poorly. You know, he just hung a ball up in the middle of the field we didn't like, and you know we're not going to, you know, go on the road and have turnovers that got us the week before at Navy with two. So uh, we just, um, you know, you know, put Nate in. Uh, that's been our thought all along. Uh, there's not really a competition. There's not an issue. They're both pretty good. They both need to be better. They both are competing well. They both are working hard. And at the same time, if one's a little off, we think the other guy can give us a shot. I would have said in every game we'd have played both. I don't know going into this game. I would expect uh, the week to play out. We'll see how they compete, see how they go. And I'd expect both of them to play, and I would expect both of them to play well. Kirk Ferentz, outstanding coach at Iowa. What do you expect out of the Iowa Hawkeyes? Well, they've you know they've lost two good two good teams here, you know Penn State and, and Northwestern. Two teams are playing as good as as, as most teams in the Big Ten on, on uh, each division. So coming off two losses, they're four and four, but it's a prideful program. Uh, it's, it's, their program's been built with Coach Fry and now with Coach Ferentz, like we're trying to do. They've been to 11 straight bowls, physical team, run the ball well. They're great in turnover ratio. They do all the things that it takes to have a winning program. It's a program that we respect. It's a program that we actually are trying to emulate in building ours. I expect them to come in and play well. I expect our people, our program, to have our best week to give us a chance to get another win because if not, we will have a difficult time Saturday. So it's need a big crowd, need our fans behind us. We need a lot of energy here for the 330 kick. And I expect Iowa to come in and play well, and I'm expecting a good week and, and our kids to step up and have a good performance.